they did not fucking win. They did not win. They may have thought they were winning when they did that shit. But look at me now. <laughs> I feel free though. I feel free. I was literally holding on to my hair for my man because he kept saying, oh, I want you to cut your hair. It's so beautiful. And I'm like, it's beautiful, but it's a lot. It's a lot to do with. Like. And so today, you know, that's my man. He's going through it. That's my man. That's my man. And we had a conversation today, and I'm gonna tell him like it's your fault. Cause I'm gonna tell him I cut my hair. Cause you know he in prison, so I gotta tell him he ain't gonna be able to see it until I send pictures or until he get the pictures. But I'm gonna tell him like it's your fault because you sitting here telling me all this stuff that made me have this damn epiphany that I allow people to control my life too much. I allow people to control my life way too much. People that. But yeah, we had a conversation today, and it made me realize the way I reacted to the conversation. Let me say that. Not the conversation itself. The way I reacted to the conversation. Should I put a part or just leave it like that? The way I reacted to the conversation made me realize that I have no control over my life. Because I've been letting other people control me. And I'm not saying he controls me because that's why I wasn't cutting my hair. <sighs> okay, let me let this baby hair. You know I don't want to. I'm not going to hair still a little super dude. But yeah, <laughs> the conversation just made me realize how much control I've been giving people over my life. Like, people from my past that, there's specific people from my past that keep popping up and they feel like they have the right, they feel like they have that right to pop up when they want to. And I, and I personally feel like, I can't stop looking at myself, y'all, because I look so cute. But I personally feel like they don't have no right, they don't have no right to pop up in my life, pop out, pop in, pop out, pop in, pop out, regardless of what their circumstances are they don't have no right you know they don't have no right and i've been allowing that situation to control me i've been allowing the pain that i felt when my whole family turned their backs on me like my whole family turned their backs on me y'all like everybody for no reason i needed help i was i was woman enough to admit it I swallowed my pride and I admitted it that I needed help financially. I was struggling. I'm not saying mentally, but financially, I was struggling. Mentally, honestly, mentally, I feel like I was in a good place. You know, you always seem crazy and like you're losing your mind when you're mentally good. <laughs> but financially, I was struggling. And uh, I admitted it and I needed help. I mean, my babies needed somewhere to go. And everybody turned their backs on me. And I had to go to the last person that I ever wanted to ask for help. And in, in that situation, I was abused emotionally and physically. And uh, so I've been carrying that pain around. It was around that time that I met the father of my child. And I just realized today how much he saved my life. Uh, I mean, I've always realized it, but I guess I can say I was reminded today of how much he saved my life because without that peace of comfort and love, you know, somebody, y'all, you always need a hug from somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can walk around here and act macho, macho and tough and act like you don't need nobody and act like you're just a big dog, big man, all you want. But at the end of the day, you're going to need somebody. You need somebody to love you. You need somebody to hug you when you're feeling alone. You need somebody to comfort you 
when you don't have when you can't comfort yourself sometimes you can't comfort yourself and you need somebody to give that to you to remind you what that feels like and he did that for me and if I didn't have that I probably would have lost my mind if it was just me in that house tolerating the abuse the mental abuse the physical abuse if it was just me I had no escape because he was my escape um I was his if I had no escape, I, you know, I probably would have lost my mind. Like, people really would have thought, damn, I was crazy. Like, <laughs> but yeah, I've been carrying all that hurt. Like, the mental abuse, the family turning the back on me. Like, I'll be wanting, I'll be feeling guilty about not associating myself with them. Like, if something bad happened to them, I don't call and check on them. You know, I always hear about it, of course, from other family. From the family, I do communicate. I always hear like, "Oh, this happened to whoop the boot." I don't call and check on them. They want to check it for me, and so I was, I was just don't have it in my heart, you know, to check on them and my mom, my soul, my spirit. And um, I'm okay with that. I'm accepting that. Part I'm not okay with is feeling guilty about it. Like I, I shouldn't feel guilty about it, you know. I shouldn't feel guilty about not loving and showing that I care about the people who did not show me that they love me and care about me. So, this video was not supposed to be like this, but it turned into this. This shirt is filthy, like I need to bleach it. But I'm not gonna change. I'm gonna make some TikToks in it. I already look raggedy, but baby, I'm getting skinny. Baby, I'm getting, uh, 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 uh. And I cut my hair. And I'm feeling free. No burdens on me, 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 me. Y'all let me go. I'm letting it go. I know it ain't gonna happen today, it ain't gonna happen tomorrow, it ain't gonna happen next week. But today I'm deciding to let it go. Like I've been deciding this for twelve months, y'all. No bullshit. But it dawned on me today, like even though I don't see it, y'all see my messiness, my trash, and my towel right there. But even though I don't see the burdens they're there you know even though you don't see the burdens they're there and and i've been running running from them hiding um because i didn't want to feel guilty for for hating somebody like they tell you like oh don't hate nobody don't hate but sometimes you gotta hate somebody to get over it like sometimes you have to feel that anger you have to feel that pain you have to feel that frustration you have to want to like scream out of anger because you hate it you hate it so that way you can get over it you can get over it you know once you scream it out and you people always say don't hate don't hate don't hate but it's hard not to hate somebody who did you like that so in the back of your mind you think oh everybody tells me don't hate don't hate on your heart don't hate don't hate don't hate no go ahead and hate them hate them for a little don't hate them forever hate them for a little bit because you need to be angry that you are hurting and you need to be mad because if you don't allow yourself to feel those feelings you'll forever be carrying these burdens and that's what i realized like i haven't allowed myself to hate them like i haven't been real with myself and said look you hate them you hate them you don't care <laughs> about their lives like you hate them and since i i admit that to myself it's like okay i don't hate them no more I don't hate them no more. I don't, they was hating on me. I don't hate them no more. Like, I had to. Oh, y'all, I can't stop looking at myself. I look so cute. I look so cute, y'all. I, I want to see what's going to It's drying, so it is shrinking. I can see it. So, I think it's going to be like, at least just going to be a little more like poof, poof, poof. A little more like oof. I don't think I'm going to lose too much length. But, yeah, y'all need to hate somebody hate them but set your set your time you know set your time limit and be like okay i'm gonna scream today i'm gonna cry tomorrow i'm gonna be happy the next day and i'm probably gonna scream again cry again be happy and scream and cry and be happy but after these how many days was that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten days i'm letting it go because I didn't felt the emotions. I let myself be mad. I let myself hate them. I let it happen. I didn't let other people's views of, oh, don't hate nobody, 
you know, hinder me from feeling angry with this person. Like, and I allowed myself to feel it. And now I feel free. And y'all still got some loose ends to tie up. I made up my mind. I'm shooting out some messages to people, regardless of how they feel, how old they are. I don't give a damn. They didn't give a damn. I need to get this shit up off my chest. I need these people to know they hurt me. They affected me in a huge way. But then I want them to know that they did not fucking win. They did not win. They may have thought they were winning when they did that shit. But look at me now. They did not win. They did not take my life. They didn't stop me from receiving any blessings nothing they did stopped me all they did was hurt me make me hate them and then receive some bad karma because of what they did dang i'm just saying forgive me but i'm just saying okay okay just saying all that's all they did was hurt themselves thought you was hurting me but in the long run you hurt yourself so yeah, I'm gonna end up uploading this to YouTube because I want to expect things to get like this. My YouTube videos are so random, but they come in from my heart, my soul, my spirit. Um, if y'all see my other videos, you saw my ponytails all the way down here. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna put the clip in somewhere of me cutting it. It's gonna be a reel though. It's gonna be a short, a TikTok. I'm gonna make it a TikTok, a short, a reel, and uh, you could go follow me on Facebook at Q the Queen. Um, you can follow me on TikTok at 11, Q the Queen 11. And you can also follow me on Instagram at Q the Queen 1. Y'all, I know they, they still in my name, so I had to improvise. Okay. And um, y'all can check out the short, like my reaction. I'm going to just show y'all me cutting the hair but on here. But if y'all want to see my actual reaction, like how I looked after I looked at my ponytail, I was like, catch me on over there. Catch me outside. How about it? Thank you.